Quantum field theory, I like to think of it as the language of physics. We use it to describe the elementary particles and the forces between them. We use it to describe properties of materials, phases of materials, phase transitions between them. We do to describe cosmology, the expanding universe, the theory of inflation. And most importantly, we use it in the context of quantum gravity and string theory, where quantum field theory appears in many different places. So it appears to be central, not only in string theory, but in all of physics. For this reason, it is very important, very central, and very exciting. Mathematics is essential in describing nature. We have seen that over the last century, if not millennia. Physics uses mathematics. This has also been the case for centuries, and mathematics is central in quantum field theory. At the same time, quantum field theory is not mathematically rigorous. These are the hallmarks of a topic where we are at the forefront of research. Mathematicians appreciate that there's something very deep going on here because quantum field theory has had a lot of impact on mathematics. But at the same time, mathematicians are very interested in the fact that there's this machine, quantum field theory, that keeps producing new results in mathematics. This machine is not yet rigorous. From my own perspective, Mathematicians should view it as a challenge to make it more rigorous, but also at the same time it's an opportunity because making it more rigorous will certainly lead to new ideas. We shouldn't think of it as two separate disciplines, math and physics, but there's one intellectual st structure that all of us would like to understand, and one day we'll understand that intellectual structure. What will quantum field theory lead to? What will it encompass? The quick answer is that I do not know. It's common in research that we don't know what we will find. That's what makes research so exciting. If we knew what it would find, it would not be research and it would not be that in interesting. Most interesting discoveries over the last several centuries were totally unexpected. And that's what made them interesting and exciting. I believe the same will, be, will happen here.